In this episode of the Online Classroom, we'll look at Sankey diagrams as a way of quantifying the energy flows through a system. A good place to start your Sankey diagram is understanding the energy breakdown in a system. For an internal combustion engine car, there are two main considerations. The first being the fuel to the engine, and then the engine generating the locomotion. The engine heating cooling system, as well as heat exhaust, contribute to a large percentage drop in the efficiency of an internal combustion engine leaving only 23% going to the transmission or actual energy to the wheel. By contrast, an electric vehicle is far more efficient with only very minor reported losses in conversion, meaning that upwards of 80% of energy is converted to energy to wheel. When drawing a Sankey diagram, it's important to make sure that the relative size of the arrows represent the size of the losses. This is a visual description of how much energy makes it to the transmission and relatively you can see that the engine losses contribute to a significant loss in the system. By comparison, the EV version has small losses with the bulk of the chemical energy being converted to mechanical energy. Both of these diagrams could be extended in both directions. For example, to look at the amount of energy that's lost in transmitting the power from the grid to the batteries or the amount of energy that's consumed in delivering the petrol to the vehicle. Things to keep in mind when drawing a Sankey diagram is that the arrows should be proportional to the size of the flow. The next step could be to convert the percentages to values and then to explore each of the arrows in more detail. Could these be broken up? Could these be opportunities where energy could be reclaimed in the system? And that wraps up the Sankey diagram online classroom.